lucky number? 13. Hmm. Well, unfortunately I wasn't real lucky with the shot, but uh, the deer was way out there. By the time I got a shot at it, it was probably about 100 and, I don't know, maybe 110, 120 yards running, full bore jumping over stuff. So I got my first shot on it then. Then it kept going. That was up off of J7D2. And all the way down to J11 is where I was shooting. And, uh, or not at first, he was up top, but then he ran down and uh, he was with the doe. And he kept going and he would stop. So I took another shot, but he was probably at 200 yards and, and he just stood there. So I took another shot. So then he walked a little bit. I took another shot. And then I think I shot five times at him. And uh, I had to reload my gun, and he took off, eh, before I reloaded my gun. And I was trying to reload my gun and watch where he was going, and I lost him. So I hiked all the way down to J, past J7, Gary's Road, all the way down to J11. And uh, I didn't find any blood or nothing, but I thought, you know, I should keep going and looking for him. So I kept walking, and I'm looking for his tracks, and I found a few tracks, but nothing much. And I kept going, and I started to walk up J11. Instead of going down, I thought I'll walk up it, check it all out. Then I'll walk down. I'll have to unfortunately walk all the way back. It's a long way, but, you know, due diligence, you have to go check for the buck. And what's staring at me in the edge of the trees? A rack. I don't know what it was, but it had a fairly wide rack, and it was dark chocolatey antler, it looked like. So I lift my gun up as fast as I could, and he started to take off. So <laughs> I took a pot shot at him as he was running into the bushes, and I missed him, and uh, he kept going up in the bushes, so I took a shot at him right broadside as he's running in the bushes, and I hit him. I watched him hunch up, his back kicked up, and went right on, there's some, that was some action. And unfortunately, I only had one more shell left, and I'm watching him run up the hill, and he turned, he didn't run up the hill, he was running up this bank right here like this, running up this road right here, and then he turned, and I said, well, I better take a shot at him, because he's running fast. So I may have hit him the first shot, but he wasn't going down. He was going to take off, and this is thick stuff in here, man. You wouldn't want to lose a deer. So I took my last bullet shot right broadside. Well, not broadside, but right at his body. And uh, he went blam and fell over and got back up and ran right down in here. And he just ran in there, and I've heard him kicking around down there. So I'm just giving him a little bit of time. It's been about ten minutes now. So uh, I'll give him another five minutes or so. Make sure he's good and out, and then uh, I'll go see what we got. But I'm pretty sure we got a half decent buck here. I think it's a three point, but it's at least a two point because it's fairly wide. Well, looky what we have there. That's deer. That's a big body deer. Now we got to find out what his rack is. But I know he's a buck. I know he's at least a two-point. I know he was fairly thick and wide, but it could be just a small little two. two. It didn't look like he had massive tall tines, but look at the size of that chest. That's a big deer. That's a big deer. And it took us oh, 35 minutes or so to find him. In here. He's dead. That's a nice size brisket, I tell you. What have we got here? 2.3.4.5 point, 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 what is he? He's a three point. He's a four by three. Yeah, I knew his tines weren't real, real tall, but that's still a nice bloody deer. Four by three. Judging by the size of his body, he's going to weigh over 100 pounds easy. Well, buddy, you're coming home with me, and I'm happy to get you. There. Yeah, baby. There he is, monster buck. Nanaimo style. Tell me that's not a nice one. Got some narrows, he's still got rubs in his antlers here. 
That's a big body deer. Neck's a little bit swollen. First size tines. Dale Earnhardt hat. Did me some luck, eh, don't you think? I think so. What a beautiful buck. Can you get it ready? November 13th, 2004, River Camp, and I'm a watershed, 4x3, nice buck. That's a beauty. Nice and old in the face. He's a big body deer. Chased him for 400 yards to get this one. Tough to get. It'll be hours to get to the truck still. That's okay. That's what you want. Nice buck. That's where I shot from. All the way down here to J11 from J7C, or no, J7D2. You see, I'm on J11. Oh god, I might even be on J11. Yeah, I'm on J11. Then that right there. This is J11. And that is Gary's Road, J7C. And that is J7D2, mine and Eric's Road. I shot my three point on there last year. Twenty something, I think. Oh, it's over one thirty. Oh, one, oh, one bigger than the other one. One thirty. Do you have the gold, do you have the Third herd line. in there? No, I no? I threw away the liver and everything. It's yeah. one thirty one, Mark. Look at it. Bigger than the other one. The other one's brow time is on the same side. Too. Uh, it only had one. Thank you.